Most Americans think Staten Island is boring, but that's going to change in the near future as Staten Island is going to feature one of the biggest Ferris wheels, particularly bigger than other big wheels like the Singapore Flyer and the London Eye. That's right, the proposed Ferris wheel for Staten Island will show the world a different Staten Island than the one they see in TV. In today's video, we're going to give you an insight into the giant wheel of Staten Island, which is commonly known as the New York Wheel, and we'll discuss how it could be a game changer for the entire city's skyline and economy. Well, first of all, the project is currently halted due to some problems that we'll cover in the last section of our video, but if the New York Wheel is completed, then it will be something that New York, and particularly Staten Island, will be remembered for. So let's take a look at what exactly the project is. The New York Wheel is a project that aims to construct the largest Ferris wheel in the world on Staten Island in New York City. If it were finished, it would offer breathtaking views of the Manhattan skyline, and it could hold the key to a long-term goal, putting the least visited of the city's five boroughs on the map for tourists. The gigantic Ferris wheel will stand at a height of 625 feet, making it higher than both Singapore's flyer and the high roller in Las Vegas. It will be about half the height of the Empire State Building. Visitors will ride in 36 capsules, each of which has the capacity to hold up to 40 passengers for a total of 1,440 people per cycle. This feature is modeled after the London Eye. At the busiest times of the year, it is anticipated that this observation wheel will accommodate 30,000 passengers each day, for a total of 4.5 million people during the course of the year. Further, it is expected that the wheel will be open 365 days a year, with the exception of days with adverse weather. The wheel will be close to both the Staten Island Ferry Port and the Richmond County Bank Ballpark. The terminal serves as the starting point for a free water taxi that goes across the New York Harbor between the skyscrapers of Lower Manhattan and Staten Island. In addition, the wheel will serve as a focal point of a shopping center that will include 100 designer outlet shops, theater space, a hotel, and several restaurants and cafes. The project, which will be developed by New York Wheel and BFC Partners, is part of Bloomberg's larger effort to develop the city's extensive waterfront with parks and recreational projects, and to make the city more tourist-friendly. It will also pour $500 million in private investment into the waterfront area of the borough, in addition to creating 1,200 construction jobs and 1,100 permanent jobs. In fact, it would be a game-changer for the borough, which is arguably best known for being the location of the Fresh Kills landfill, which was once the city's primary waste site and subsequently served as a sorting ground for the wreckage following the attacks on the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. According to the locals of Staten Island, we've gone from having the world's largest dump to the world's biggest wheel. It will offer views that have never been seen before and will surely be stunning. It is sure to become one of the most popular places to visit in New York City. It will also be a fun addition to the city's waterfront, which was just fixed up. Nevertheless, in order for the wheel to attract anybody, it will first need to be designed, constructed, and brought to New York City in sections from all over the globe, transported to a construction site on large barges, and assembled like a massive Connects model. The Economic Development Corporation of the city has submitted a request to the Army Corps of Engineers requesting authorization to construct a temporary pier in order to facilitate the unloading of the barges. After all the components have been assembled, they will be sent to New York, where they will be loaded onto wide dollies and then rolled onto barges. The request sent to the Army Corps says that tugboats will be in charge of getting the goods to a pier that will stretch 190 feet into the harbor. The components will be moved using a crane that is located at the end of the pier that is 33 feet wide. Once there, the components will be lifted into position using the crane. Due to the fact that it has so many moving components, the wheel continues to present numerous challenges to developers. But according to Rich Marin, who serves as the President and Chief Executive Officer of the New York Wheel, money is not one of them. According to him, his firm is getting very close to obtaining the entire amount of money, $500 million, that is needed to construct the wheel, along with a terminal building and a parking garage. A little less than one-third of that total, or $150 million, has been collected from 300 Chinese families who made investments in the expectation of requiring visas via a system that is managed by the Federal Immigration Office. Even though work has been suspended for the time being, it is estimated that the whole construction of the wheel will take roughly two years. This is due to the fact that it is more than just a standard Ferris wheel. It is a special kind of observation wheel that works the same way as the London Eye and the High Roller in Las Vegas. At 550 feet tall, the High Roller is the tallest Ferris wheel anywhere in the world right now. The timeline for the wheel's construction was originally set for early 2014 to 2015, but it has been delayed many times. The original timeline was for work to begin in early 2014 with a grand opening in 2016. But in October 2014, the timeline was shifted to early 2015 with an opening in early 2017. 
One of the main reasons why the project wasn't finished was that there wasn't enough money to finish it. There were many problems with the project, such as budget overruns, delays, and disagreements with contractors and investors, which all led to a lack of money and, in the end, bankruptcy. In addition, the proposal was met with a strong resistance from local community organizations who were worried about the influence that the wheel would have on the region in which it was going to be located. Another factor that caused the project to fail was the COVID-19 pandemic. The epidemic led to a huge drop in tourism and travel, which would have been the primary source of income for the wheel if it had been operating normally. Because of this, in addition to the financial challenges that were already present in the project, it was officially decided that the project would be scrapped. In May 2019, there were again talks about building a New York wheel with a smaller diameter. However, in February 2023, these plans were officially canceled. Last but not least, if the New York wheel project had been finished, it would have been one of the most iconic landmarks in New York City. It would have provided tourists and visitors with stunning views of the skyline of the city from a vantage point that was completely unique. It was thought that the wheel would bring in millions of tourists each year, which would boost the local economy and create new jobs in the area. The New York wheel was designed to be both a tourist attraction and a symbol of eco-friendliness and sustainability. It was an example of how a large-scale development project may be developed in a sustainable and ecologically responsible manner, since it was intended to be powered solely by renewable energy sources. But unfortunately, we will have to wait a long time for such a project to be completed. And that has been all for today's video, guys. See you in the next video. Until then, cheers.